Is this you right here? It's a unique, unique hustle. hustle. Check, it, check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my dad. Man, we got a special guest in the house today, y'all, all the way from... La no, San Diego. San Diego. This boy from San Diego. Uh -huh. We I love, love San, San Diego. Diego. <laughs> Check it, man. Sure. My boy Le Grifo is in the building. What it do? What it man, do? Man, what's going on? Thank you for coming on my show, man. It's all love. Boss Talk 101. What a boss's talk, man. Boss shit. Hey, man. And you a boss, so this only it's only right. Boss shit. What's up? Man, man? so Man, being being, how how you liking the weather down here, boy? I look, I see you with the with the jacket you know on. I'm I I got the jacket just just for the occasion and shit. But you know, I came in my chucks. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm still outside. Okay. You know, Texas weather we up and down. Yesterday was nice and warm. Today is just like freezing. Yeah, yeah I got off the plane last night like at uh, almost midnight. So it, it, it was all right. it was pretty cold and shit. I stepped mm -hmm. out the hotel this morning though, and I felt it. <laughs> yeah. I jumped in the wheel with my boy and shit. He had the uh, the heater on full blast and shit. Uh, Damn, ready? Go ahead and uh, let's just so, go. Um, let's go down through there. We like to go back, back way back before you were Lil Grifo. Mm -hmm. Tell me about how it was growing up in um, San Diego with your mom, your dad, brothers and sisters, all of that. Okay, well, shit. Like I grew up like um, like every other Mexican kid, you know, in that area and shit, you know. Um, my dad left, mom mom doing uh, her own shit, you know what I'm saying? So I grew up with my grandparents. Grandparents tried their best to raise me. How old were you when he left? Uh, shit, I don't even remember, you know what I mean? I lived with my grandparents since I, I could remember, you know what I'm saying? So, Do you uh, know your dad? Yeah, I know my pops and shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we cool now, but um, you know, I had to let a uh, lot of shit go in order for me to go forward in life and shit, you know what I'm saying? That's so, good. A lot of anger builds up when you were younger. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, like when you don't have a role model or you don't have a father figure and shit, you start looking like to the streets or you just start looking to anybody who you think at that moment is is is, is going to show you any kind of love or anything, you know. So, so many people fall in that trap. Yeah. We have so many people come come on the show and they fall in that trap, and not all of them are angry. Yeah. Not all of them, but the majority of them are usually angry because of that. You know what I mean? Not having that father figure. Yeah, yeah. So it happens, you know, it happens. But, you know, to break it is is, is, is where is where it's at. So we exactly. Don't and being, have you broken it? I mean, yeah, I'm here. I'm That's here. Good. You know what I'm saying? On some boss talk shit. So hey, you got man. <laughs> you got kids of your own? Yeah, I got three kids. See, you know? that's how you break it. Not doing to them what was done to you. Right. And that's how. Man, I, I just really like the, the, the fact that you know, we do go down that, that road to mm -hmm. see what a person went through because a lot of people can learn from that. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people can look at your situations and the trials that you and, and tribulations that you faced, right. and then they're able to skip past them because you told them something that they didn't have to go through. Right. Or they seen it through something that you said. And that's what life is about, about touching people right. and, in a way to where they can, they don't have to go through those things. So your children, your friends, yeah. different people in, in, the, in your community, you know what I mean? And, and so so that's a great thing. I want to know. So in the area that you were raised in, was there a lot of Hispanics in that area? Yeah, mostly, uh, you know, the, the area was dominated by Hispanics. Yeah. OK, yeah. so when did you find or who inspired you um, into music, I should say? Shit. Well, just like the, my music selection, shit that I would bump, you know, Tupac, shit like that. Uh, a lot of West Coast shit, West Coast artists, some uh, sh Chicago shit like uh, Do or Die, Twister. You know what I'm saying? Um how old were you when you started finding your love for music, though? I was probably about like 11, 12 years old. Mm. I used to be in jail, juvenile hall, sitting there writing down lyrics and shit like that. Um, thinking to myself, like, oh, I'm a rap, I'm a rap. But, you know, like, I never really took it serious till I got out of prison. So I got out of prison about uh, 2015. How old were you? About 22, I think. So you stayed in there a pretty long time? Yeah, I was in there for a while. So what um, led you up to being in prison at that time for that length of period? Robberies, robberies and, you know what I'm saying, dumb shit like that. Multiple times getting caught. Because usually sometimes it's never usually your first time that you get locked up for that long. Usually, you know, different cases. But um, 
that wasn't your first time, first offense? No, nah, well, I was in and out the system as a juvenile because, uh, you know, I just couldn't stay off the street as a, mm. as, a, as a child and shit like that as, as growing up. So but back then, like, they used to stick you in, in juvenile hall just because, uh, you know, like, you, you, you miss school or you just out here fucking around. They think your parents can't control you, so they start putting you, like, in uh, group homes and stuff like that. So I did that for, like, majority of my, of, of, of from, like, 12 to 18, and then, once I hit 18, I was old enough to go to the to the adult system. Right. Caught my first case, uh, um, strong on robbery. Then I went to the pen. I did like three years. You know what I'm saying? Got out when I was about 20, uh, 20 something, my, my early 20s. And then um, I, I never went back since then. And I mean, I've caught cases and shit, whatnot, but I haven't been convicted of anything. Just, you know. With all that you've been through, how. Do you advise your your kids are probably young though, but how would you advise your kids not to go down that same road that you went down? Shit, I'm pretty much just a, a good example of just what to look at, you know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure they see it every day, you know. And they and you don't hide your past from them, you let them know. Nah, they know for sure. They know for sure. Okay. So yeah. when you think about just um being from San Diego versus being in LA, what's the difference? We we being from Texas, yeah. she being from Jamaica. Explain to us the difference between being in San Diego, which we is beautiful in San Diego. Yeah, thank you. Uh, LA uh, being on Venice Beach, I know the difference between the beaches. Mm. Uh, San Diego <laughs> beaches are way better. <laughs> but at the end of the day, what makes the difference? And you would think, because this is only your opinion. Yeah. Um, unless you had cousins or something in LA. Yeah. But but what's the difference? I mean, shit, it's a big difference, you know what I'm saying? But it's, there's not much difference, but there's big differences. Every hood got a ghetto. Every city got a ghetto with shit like that. I don't give a fuck if you like at Beverly Hills. They got a cut an alley that, that's pretty ghetto and shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's all the same characteristics everywhere you go. Every every hood got a knucklehead. Every hood got a, got a you know what I'm saying, a baller. Every hood got, got you know what I'm saying, got mm -hmm. money getters and shit like that. They got, so it's just, it's, it's the same shit to me, honestly. LA mm -hmm. just a little bit bigger, a little bit faster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, LA just a little bit bigger, a little bit faster. And have more resources. I mean, it's 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 it's, it's a big city. When you think of California, you think of uh, LA, LA. The, LA in the Bay. But LA some people get bay. some people get offended by that. Like uh, if they're from somewhere else other than LA, and you say, "Oh, you you from LA?" They'll get mad at you. Like, no, I'm not from no LA. I'm from yeah. such and such and such. Yeah, I mean, like, and that's their fault for not being from LA, or you know, <laughs> for feeling that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I love my city. I ain't gonna hide that shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm from San Diego. You see it on my hat. You see it on my neck. I represent that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna die there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You know? I'm not gonna let that shit uh, uh, hold me there and hold shit you like there. that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you I mean, I, so you know, the more people you 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 able to interact with, the more people you can help. Yeah. I look at it as a helping situation, man. Anytime. That's why I communicate so much. I do so good with a lot of the people from California, and I thank God for that. <clears throat> that God sent me a lot of people from da down from Cali, and, and I interview them. And when I went to California, when I was in L.A., uh, I was able to interview a lot of different people, Freeway, Ricky Ross, uh, uh, Vitamin uh, C. C. Um, uh, that There was a couple of them. Uh, it, it just was a dope setting to be able to go out there and sit with Melvin Farm and all those guys. And mm -hmm. the one thing I can say uh, that it is different the way that L.A. lives. And when I went to San Diego, um, it, it felt like a tourist type situation, too. For sure. You know what I mean? Like like when when you go downtown. Remember about that boat? Or mm -hmm. It's a big the it's naval, a naval base there. So yeah. that, then that you got then you got a, people jumping over the line there, too. I, mm -hmm. I met some guys that just came to go over on the other yeah. side. Yeah. To yeah. go to yeah. Mexico. Yeah. yeah, they wanted to nice. jump across that line. Tijuana. <laughs> Tijuana, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they tried to get me to go, but I said, I got my Tijuana right here. Man. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah. at any rate, I enjoyed it. I love the fact that it's so it clean. Clean. It's clean. It's a yeah. very nice place. Beautiful it's, city. Yeah, I love Beautiful it. I love city. where you're from, man. And I can't straight say that enough. But that whole West Coast flavor is dope, man. And um, so uh, if, when you think about uh, going to prison at the age or going get, getting yourself in situations like that, um, you was close. It could have took you out. Yeah. It could have took you out. Um, all of these different uh, penitentiary chances that we take in life. Uh, 
uh, going to courtrooms, going to uh, trying to get a lawyer, trying to figure out if the court appointed lawyer going to be uh, straight up with you. Uh, are they trying to do me something on this one? Do I need to hold out longer? These are all situations you face, and in men mentally in your mind, you be thinking, uh, man, is this it for me? You even pray to God harder. The fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much, though. But you even pray harder when you're going through something. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I never, was just I never pray when I'm in trouble, man. That's just, the worst just, thing you could do. Man. Well, I don't really? know about that. I can't agree with that. Boy, you just you lost me on that because that would be like if I get counsel, I don't need to pray because any situation where you're going through it, you're going to pray because are you going to try to figure out a way to strengthen your spirit no, facts, and facts. break down your flesh? But like in jail, like if you know you did something wrong. You know you fucked up or something. You know what I'm saying? My bad. I don't mean to cuss. No, no, go ahead. But like, if you fucked up and you know you did something wrong, and then you can, uh, I will never pray to God to get me out of a situation that I put myself in. But you pray for to ask for forgiveness for what you've done. Maybe forgiveness, but that's forgiveness. But not, that's but, something else. Yeah. And and you and also, saying? I agree with you. Yeah. I got I got I know where you're coming from, but I also know that that's a time also for me to condition myself right. spiritually to where I can grow. Because when I've been up. broke down in the flesh, I can grow internally more, mentally more, when I don't have all these different things uh, trying to combat against me. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to work on me more. Facts. I'm going to work out, but I'm going to work on me more mentally, and I'm going to be able to fight harder when I do if I get another opportunity. Facts. Now I'm able to get out here and be a better man to this universe. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to do what I used to do because I ain't that age no more. That's yeah. what people don't like to say. Mentally because and physically. Most people are like, he changed, man, when he got locked up. No, nigga, years went by. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, I'm older now. Yeah, yeah, Am yeah. I right? Yeah, no, it's real shit though. I mean, <laughs> but but people's some minds, come out and still yeah. be the same. Because no, people's minds don't grow. Don't A lot that. of people's minds don't grow like uh, in jail. It grow like by reading books and shit like that, educating yourself. But just being a real uh, member of society and paying bills and shit like that. A lot of people they don't you don't pay bills in jail. You don't pay nothing. You don't got mortgages. You don't got shit in jail. You know all you gotta do is roll your mattress up, stay clean, and exercise. So like when they get out here, they don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of them can't pick up everything out here. You know, so they go right back to jail. And and you know I agree saying? with that hundred percent. But there is opportunity in there to change. Facts. The most important thing is to get out of yourself and understand who you truly were made to be. Yeah. Get out of your own way. Most people still be stuck in their own way. They be trying to figure it out, but they still be caught up on the things they were conditioned and learned as a child. So a lot of that stuff is hate and hurt, and they never forgive themselves for what they went through. So therefore, when they go through it, they get to going through what they're going through and they get in jail and then they start to fight and they start to kill and they start to do all these things because of the unforgiveness that they hold in their heart. Yeah, I'm being real no, because no, no, they yeah, be mad at themselves for getting in the situation. They yeah. be mad at their parents for turning their back on them and all that stuff rolled up in a bow says riot, nigga. You're <laughs> <laughs> so when you say, hey, yeah. man, oh man, what you doing with your pillow on my bunk? And then you be like, nigga, yeah. what you mean? Pillow on my bunk? Oh, you got what? And then next thing you know, y'all fighting over damn pillow yeah, sure. but it ain't about the pillow it's about yeah. the frustration and the stuff that's held up and built up inside Fresh. that's all hey man i'm just talking nah, right. <laughs> We're shit though, man. We're so let's get into the music so you said you started taking the music serious at 22 yeah about 22 so what did you what was your first move to being serious about your music you went out here and found somebody to do a feature with or what no nah, i just started pumping shit out just uh, a lot of visuals and shit like that. Okay, are you so, a punch in person or are you writer? My last album, I punched in the whole album. Uh, you know, it just helped me brush up on my my writing skills and shit. But this album, I'm I'm writing. Okay, so you do both. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. And everything you do is off of your own life experiences. Facts. Okay, cool. Everything you everything he, he speak about on the mic, I can go back mm -hmm. and research it, and they gonna say that boy go hard. Grifo is a real <laughs> one. Look, Grifo go hard. He ain't he about what he say. I like the way he rap. You know what I mean? Yeah, hell yeah. What What do you think made No Friends go so so far and so just 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 jump like like that did for you? Millions of of views. Uh, shit, man. I, I mean, I mean the beat selection is everything, but I mean I don't know, just the flow, I guess. Yeah, talking that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying. Talking, just, just pretty much going in, yeah. and 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 so, did you do any promo or anything for as uh, trying to figure out ways to make it do more yeah. on that one, or you just was just organic upload? upload. Just uploaded and not even trip. I never paid for an ad in my life. But did you go and, and perform at places? Did you tell people about nah, it? Nothing. Just so this all internet. Just upload. 
Yeah. Just all internet power of somebody loving what Lil Griefo got, got to bring to the table. Yeah, man, I be tripping out too and shit, but I mean, this shit real. What did you say when you seen it just scaling? I was in jail when that shit was going up, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know. Honestly, like, that, that was my first video that hit an M, and I didn't think I was going to be able to do it again. I thought it was just like that one time and shit like that, but then... Uh, I you hit another one. I hit another one off of Southern Cali. Southern Cali hit, Southern hit Cali another hit And actually, was hit, you out then? Uh, I went back to jail. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so every time I went back to jail. Every time you go to jail, you get a million. It goes million. up. That's just crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I was yeah. about to say, what is the secret behind it? But it's weird. I don't know. But I'm. I, I, it's we gotta up. figure that out. It's fucked you know up. I, I go to court uh, like in two weeks, and I'm signing for two and a half. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta go back upstate. And uh, do another. You gotta bit. go back. Yeah, yeah, I'm going back. I'm out on bail right now. I've been out on bail for like 13 months. How so you gotta drop another hot single so it can go. Yeah, it's a millions. Yeah, we working for sure. Man, I'm gonna tell you something. We gotta change that 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 narrative. We yeah, need him out here stop, for his stop kids. Stop going and stuff. back in. Yeah, yeah. You know, I I'm mean, this is the last time for sure. I mean, and, and it's over some bullshit, petty shit. But I mean, uh, I guess just my past catching up to me and shit like that. So yeah, so you already been conditioning differently, but you still got to deal with the repercussions of right. what you already had. But you just want to get play. it out of the way and be done with it, so you can move on with your move life. Move on with your life. Yeah, I've been I've been fighting this shit for like 13 months, and it's just a simple That's stressful, right? A simple assault. Is wow. it simple assault? For two and a half years? Two uh two two years with half. So uh a basic assault like uh like I just fought somebody. Mm. No, 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 no uh great bodily injury or nothing. Like it was just They're a, looking at your priors. A mutual fight, yeah. That's what it is. They're looking at all the stuff you've done before and that's what made that happen. Yeah, yeah. I ain't tripping really. But I mean I am, but I mean like you said, you know, you go to judge shop and your shit Take up. Take the I'll lemons right. and make lemonade. Yeah, we're gonna write some albums in there. So Yeah, yeah. And yeah. also get closer to your children and your loved ones. How old yeah. are your children? Nine and eight. And then I got a two year old. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. found out. You know what I'm saying? So, well, you know already. Once you come on boss talk, you know we real with it. Like I'm gonna yeah. be trying to, I'm gonna be trying to figure out where you at. So yeah. I, I'm gonna be trying to, yeah, I'll write you and all that. I'm crazy. So, I don't yeah. know why. Mm -hmm. I just love hard. I don't care what nobody think about me. Yeah. I don't. It's it's real. I come from real places. If you able to touch somebody and help somebody and get to them, why not? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it means something. Somebody to hold you down. Oh, that mean a lot. Yeah. yeah. So and at nine, the kids, you know, you come back out. They need you at that age, teenager age. They need you more than anything else. So you yeah, definitely yeah, got to stay out. Yeah. How is how is gang violence when it comes down to San Diego? Because I never hear about it like you hear about LA. LA, LA is the the the, the hub. Uh, yeah, they, that's the hub. There you go. You mm -hmm. hit. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this and shit like that, man. You know, like uh, the media, social media. You know, the news, all that shit, like. They pinpoint what they want to put out there. So, you know, right now they're talking about the purge and shit in L.A. They're talking about don't go to L.A. because uh, it's crazy. They're getting robbed, people this, people that. But that shit been happening. You know what I'm saying? So they just, media's putting it out there, make, trying to make it seem, you know, something like more than what it is. You know what I'm saying? I see murders in my own hood happen before and they don't end up on the news. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it has a lot to do with, like, you know, like property value and shit like that. And the way people, they, they don't want it to be like, oh, you know, ruin San Diego's reputation or ruin the right. city's reputation and shit for some murder and shit like that. They want right. to keep it clean. They, they don't want to like push it out there like that, you know? So they're changing the narrative. I mean, you know. Trying to I've sway the narrative. It. I've seen it. I swear to God, I've seen somebody get killed uh, and they don't go on the news. You know what I'm saying? Like at all. You know what I mean? So, but I mean, San Diego, San Diego lit. I don't know what part you guys been to with no, shit no, like that, but uh, you guys come down there tap in with me. For sure, I'm going to tap in with I, and you. And I mean, you, I, I don't want to take it to the hood because I'm trying to get out of there too. Yeah, but, no, no. You know I'm coming to where I can oh, get with you and know. he to go to the hood because he's like, that's where the best food is at. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, we hit a taco shop for sure. <laughs> See what I'm saying? The <laughs> that's best that's food right. in the hood, what they call in the hood is just a minority. That's all right, it is. that's yeah. all it is. It's our people there. We yeah. always, any city we go to, we always drive through, stop somewhere, check it out, talk to some people. You know what I mean? It's just our people. At yeah, the end yeah. of the day, so how how is the black versus the brown down there? Are they are they unified or do they fight all the time or, or what? Nah, it's love. It's love. It's love down there, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, like on the side that I, I I grew up on this shit, like my hood, like it's a lot of Hispanics and shit. So we don't really have uh, like different ethnicities down there. But you know, you hit to the south. What's the name of your hood? Palm City. Palm, palm City. Yeah, palm City. Palm they, Avenue. I think yeah. they got that palm. They be wearing them 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 clothes got palm on it. Nah, I'll be we, seeing yeah, that. Yeah, we don't wear that. That nah, ain't y'all. That's, that's Florida. <laughs> that's Florida. That's Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Palm City. Yeah, what so, do y'all wear? Shit, man. We wear, you know, 
we wear what we wear, whatever. Mm-hmm. Just you know, saying dicky suits, whatever. Now I'm just oh, yeah? fucking around. Now we wear whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But so the South Side, man, it's a lot of Mexicans. You hit Southeast, that's where Nick Cannon's from and shit like that. Okay, okay. a lot of people, don't. a lot of people don't know that, but um. He free from the southeast, like the Lincoln Park area. We got a uh, Mitchy Slick out there and shit like that. Um, and I mean, that's more Mexicans mixed in with with with, with blacks and and just like just different ethnicities down there and shit like that too. We got the east side. They got like a lot of Asians and shit, but Asian gang members, real Asian gang members. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like Uzis type shit and all mm. that. Like the motherfuckers be really you know with artillery down there. But um, San Diego, San Diego, pretty lit, man. It's popping, yeah. Uh, when you yeah, because Faison said he was from San Diego too. Mm-hmm. He that's where he grew up. Faison Love. He was talking about some uh, place where he used to perform there right. too. Uh, early on, the so you, yeah, I don't remember the name of it either. But he and said, he said he, Jamie Fox came down there. Yeah, and, and performed, performed before there too. So okay, that's the stuff that you know Jamie from here. You know he from the, right down the street. So it's okay, crazy, okay. man, how these people be leaving and going here and blowing up, and you never see that kind of stuff coming. So. Um, when you when you think about how how today's society is is it dealing with the rap artists and I say society because this is a energy type deal for me um, dying different rappers different artists dying uh, uh, in in shootouts or different uh, things that were stabbed in the neck I have seen where you say you got stabbed in the neck and then Draco Drakeo they say he got stabbed in the neck at the club that he it took him out. Yeah. But you was able to to be here today. You made it through it. Yeah. Um does that hit home? I mean shit. You know, we don't we don't really stop to think about shit like that and like but I should, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I'm just I'm just comparing the two because yeah. that's you made it through. Yeah. But right. Drakeo, ain't that his name right? Yeah, he didn't he didn't make it through. Yeah. So yeah, that's man. crazy. But just talk to me about being stabbed in the neck and, and oh, where shit. was it at and what happened? If you uh, don't mind. Yeah, it was when I was younger, my younger days. And okay. Shit like that. So we, we was just rumbling. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like five on five on seven or some shit like that, you know, rumbling and shit. And somebody just hit me with an ice pick, like, on the back. But, like, they didn't go, uh, they didn't, like, penetrate me, like, dead on down. They just kind of skimmed me, you know what I'm saying? And it kind of just, you know, went, like, you mm. know, like, on some, like, on the outside part of the skin out. But, I mean... Um, that wasn't my first time and shit neither, you know what I'm saying? So I've been I've been stabbed like in the chest. I had a uh, tore like tore some shit right here where they stabbed me right underneath my heart and shit like that. I had uh, open chest surgery and shit like that. So Wow. What yeah. what, what how old was you when that happened? That was two thousand and uh I wanna say two thousand and that was right when I got out of the pen. You know what I'm saying? So after that shit, I started making music more and shit like that. So Do you think it was your fault to get stabbed like that? Or was it a gang fight? Or what? It was gang related for okay. sure. Gang related for sure, yeah. And it was my fault. It was your fault. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Where is your... So are, are you and your mom have a good relationship now? Uh, I don't speak to my mother. You yeah. don't speak to her at I don't at speak all? to my mother. Not by choice, you know what I'm saying? So. Oh, okay. Yeah, she just got some issues. She got to go through you still. You know what I mean? Okay. No, yeah. because the reason yeah. why I say that because I, especially with boys, boys are usually mama's boys and stuff like that. You know, really yeah. close. And when I think about it, because I'm a mother, and you uh-huh. know, seeing my son go through all of this stuff, I'd be like wanting to fight you. Be like, you need to stop <laughs> this because you're not going. You know, yeah. because yeah. no mom wants to lose their child. Yeah. You know what I mean? And all these near death instances. You know what I mean? That can that hurts a mom. Yeah, I got so my grandmother and stuff. You know, so she she like my mom. Shout out to grandma. She be cutting up. Yeah. She so be she be on, telling you like yeah, grandma gonna tell him the truth. I'm I'm grown now too though, so she can't really tell me shit. You know what I mean? But I mean, she tells me of course every time she sees me. I know, she but tell me something. But uh, like I've changed a lot. Trust me, from back then to now and shit like that. You, like I'm a whole different person. You know, you eased you could, up a yeah, lot. You couldn't even get like a regular conversation out of me back then. You know, I wouldn't be able to sit down and talk to you guys back then. I like that. Mm-hmm. I like the fact that you came a long ways and you recognized the, the, the process. Are you enjoying yeah. the process? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, of course, I mean, it's. I, I learn every day when I wake up. I, I, I'm, I'm out here in Texas. Look, you know what I'm saying? Hey, like, I'm man. I'm from Cali and shit. My boy know, from so. Cali, you in Texas. Stop playing. Feel we in the so, building. Um. So what changed you? Is it your age? Is it just growing older or what is it? I think it's everything. I it's think the it's kids, everything. Man. It's everything. Um, All that. It's everything. Family, me, just you know what I'm saying. Wanting to be, live off of this. You know what I mean. Trying to you know, keep going forever. You know, you start thinking about like what's gonna happen when you die and shit. You start thinking about like what you're gonna really leave behind. Exactly. Like you start thinking about shit like that. You start thinking about uh, 
just a bunch of stuff, you know what I mean? Like real life shit. You know, before I used to just live for the moment. I used to just live like in jail a lot. So like as a kid, like I didn't have shit to worry about. As an adult, I would go to jail too. And it was, everything was just for the moment. So I didn't really give a fuck. Like as long as I had a few dollars in my pocket and shit like that. And you know, some fresh shoes. I was like, I'm cool. But in reality, it's like we nobody taught us about no credit score. Nobody taught us about no how to, uh, you know, how, how, to, how to actually go and get a house instead of paying rent and just getting played and shit like that. Do you think if someone had taught you that sort of stuff, it would have helped? You would have listened? It would have helped? The reason why I'm asking that, yeah. because I hate seeing kids out here feeling like, I know that they always feel like, well, my situation, my environment, yeah. I have to be on the streets, I have to hustle. I've seen a lot of talented rappers be uh -huh. like, you know, I can't put all my time in rapping because I got to get my money, and this is fast money, so I got to be out here doing, my, doing what I do. Yeah. But then you have some who don't do it, and they're everything into music and blow up because of it. You know what I mean? So it's like you want to get people off the streets and be able to succeed in doing their own business. You know, mm -hmm. you don't have to go work for somebody. And people don't realize that people out here hustling because oh, I don't want to work for nobody. I don't want nobody to tell me what to do. Create your own business. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I just feel like, you know, whatever. I, I'm a strong believer of God, even though I don't pray when I'm in trouble. Mm -hmm. But I feel like whatever God already has planned for you, he's going to have planned for you. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? So everything that happens is for a reason. You know, me True. going back to jail or just anything like me being here with you guys, me being here with the homie right here and shit like that. You 100%. know, like I feel everything happens for a reason. Everything we go through, every single fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, so um, to answer your question back to that, I mean, if you need to get money in the street, then that's just what you need to do is get money in the street. You want to go get a job, go get a job. You want to pursue rap? You know what I mean? Then pursue rap. But everything that you're doing is happening for a bigger picture that's already painted over here for you. You just go in that direction. You know what I mean? So, um, Do you believe in order for you to succeed, you have to put 100% in anything that you do? Say that again? In order for you to succeed, mm -hmm. do you have to put 100%? Because going back to the rap and being on the street, if you're doing both, you can't put 100% in either one. Right. So um, do you... Yeah, I mean, I haven't gave myself 100% to do music, you know what I mean? Because I'm always, you know, like uh, last night, you know, we were fucking around. We was over there in the club, and I mean, drinking and shit like that. So it's, it's like, if you do something repetitively, you know what I'm saying? Of course, you're going to brush up on that, on whatever you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, if you're working somewhere and you keep on doing that job, you're going to get better at that job, of course. And if you don't, then you're not that interested in it or you're not, it ain't, it ain't for you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, but for sure, to answer your question, you, you go hard at it a hundred percent that shit. You might just make it. Man. Faster. I think you <laughs> will make it, man. Yeah. And I, like I said, just sitting back listening to you, man, I, I definitely know that you, you got your head on the way you understand your path. You know, when for you sure. start talking about predestination and mm -hmm. things that I, it is written. That's what the Bible always say. I, I read a lot or, 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 the handwriting's on the wall. That's another statement that it says. So you got to understand when you see these different things being being said, it really, really, uh, uh, I believe, is, 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 is things that, that happen in your life. When you think of certain things, so as a man, think of so is he in his heart if you think a certain way. So you got you to gotta know self-awareness is real. Yeah. Self-awareness, understanding you is real. That's a real thing. Like mm -hmm. if I can understand me, then I can pretty much be successful, productive to me. I don't care what, what everybody else thinks to me. I, yeah. I'm settled. I can be a good father to my kids. That's what it's all about, man. Self-awareness is so key when it comes down to development. So I think you got it. I think you got it. Um, sure, yeah, man. you go through things. Hell, I went through things. Yeah, that man, I've been through things. She's been through things. That's life, man. Mm -hmm. And I like the way life is because it's not biased at all. It just treats everybody the same. It will kick you dead in your nose and say, come on with it. Yeah, here, here the light bill. Come on with it. What you going to do? It don't have no kind of buffer. It just, here it is, life, and you have to respond to it. You just got to learn from your experiences because that's why people keep going through the same stuff over and over again yeah. because you're not learning from what you need to learn. Yeah. That's why God keep putting you like a repeat button. Repeat, repeat till you get it through your head. I like it. I like it. I but honestly I like feel like, I hope not, you know, because I, I, I don't want to speak it into existence, but I honestly feel like that once I do get my head fully on straight, I feel like that's the day he going to take me up there, man. 
Nah, I be feeling like that. I be feeling like once I really do decide to be like, you know what, fuck the streets, fuck everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm fully over here now. Like, I don't got to carry Why you nothing. Feel that way? I don't got to carry That's nothing no more. Be I, doing. I don't, nah, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it be like that. But I, I'm talking about just the way I, the way you feel. The way I Why really do feel. you feel that way? Because I feel like everybody who's, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna take that back. But that's how I feel, though. Just well, you as can't, far as that, you, you can't feel you know that what I'm way, saying? bro. That's how I, I feel. With that. I, once I clean everything up, I feel like God's just gone. God's just gonna take me up there with him. Cause he always take the one. You notice he always takes the good ones, right? Mm-hmm. Now I'm he a good one, and good I'm still here. So I ain't trying to hear that. I'm, I'm listening <laughs> at you and everything you saying and everything you facing. Yeah. I can relate. Yeah, you just facts. you see me now, okay. but if you see me then, you would say, "Dang." I was the same way. So so I don't agree with that because okay. I know I cleaned myself up. Yeah. I ain't had a drink since 95. 90, you know, I ain't smoked, drink, or nothing and been into no kind of issues with, mm-hmm. with dealing with none of, none of the streets. And, and I'm from the streets. Like and I got millionaire saying. partners that are vouch for me and say, yeah. hey, that nigga was the one that, yeah. yeah but at yeah. the end of the day, God changed my life. So God put you here today so you could see a miracle. Right. This is our place of being. It's been here 15 years. Yeah. I've been married for 20 years. I changed my life and wrote a letter to God for this woman. And he gave me this wife. Hell so yeah. at the end of the day, that that statment, I get it, but I, I'd be wrong not to confess that, that that God, I call him dad. But you got to change your thought That he been good process. to me, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's just how I feel, yeah. but you know what I'm saying? They, you can I, change yeah. that feeling, though. Yeah. But I just you had, to, I had to strip my stuff right Because we all, yeah. I, one thing I've learned, and I've learned this recently, is that mm-hmm. everything starts in the mind. You know, before you step out here and do something, you're going to think about it. I'm going to do that. So you get up and you do it. Your yeah, body yeah. follow whatever yeah, you think. Yeah, the process of thought, yeah. So, so a lot of times, and we all are human beings where we think negative stuff every day. Something negative, but it's for you not to act on it, right? For sure. So a lot of times we have to talk ourselves off the ledge. So a lot of times when you have that negative thought, like what you're talking about, yeah. you can talk yourself off of that. You know what I mean? It's like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be that. I'm yeah, going to well, be better than that. I'm just saying, I was just fucking around, but you know. But I hear what you're saying no, though. Yeah. It seemed that way. Like yeah. when I, as soon as I get it together, that's in a movie, nigga. I know it. <laughs> I'm not stupid. I know that. That's a movie <laughs> right there. Every movie you see, as soon as they get it together, they gone. Mm-hmm. That's the yeah, movie for yeah, real. So I might as well just be the villain. Television. It tells you a vision. You got to be very careful with that too. Just thinking about it. Even these things right here. These phones right here, yeah. they they tell you a vision too. They deadly. So at the end of the day, we got to start looking at, like I said, let's get a lot of praying done before we get in trouble. <laughs> let's pray about things that's gonna happen so it can happen in the positive. Thanks. So how 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 uh how do you think, how much impact do you think it have on your life to speak positive? Uh, a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? You manifesting it. Mm-hmm. You mean you are, you're attracting it. That's you know all. That's what I just want to hear you say it. Yeah. <laughs> and how much um, do you want your music to affect people? Uh, I mean, that's all I want to do it for, you know. But, um, you know, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. do you have any projects? You said you said you were working. I know that um, when I asked you, it's like, you got to get it out before you go. Yeah. How? What do you have in store for us before you go? Shit, I got just a bunch of singles and I, uh, probably just an album and shit. I won't be gone too long. I'll be gone for like three, four months maybe if that. Let me, so, okay. Let me so when is it coming out? Uh, man, soon. I mean, I, I got new shit dropping almost every other week and shit. So it's good. But anyway, uh, when you look at uh, The Struggle, what 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 made you write that that song and what made you who produced it yeah how did what made that that song yeah. uh it's at 25k right now as well yeah that shit right there is that shit man it didn't do what i thought it was gonna do but it's just another record uh that shit uh i freestyled the whole shit oh yeah mm. freestyled then my boy made the beat right there on the spot and uh my homie came through with the camera really quick and we shot that shit quick so it was just, it was just, everything was just fast on that. But it, it's a record. Hey, so, yeah. and I seen you in the hood. I seen you in the hood with uh, Cam Capone in your yeah. hood, actually. So, yeah. what? how did y'all put that together? Because you really don't see that a lot. I love it because I, yeah. I got stuff that I'm doing kind of like that. Yeah. I think he bit my style. Shout out to Cam Capone. <laughs> you, Cam Capone, uh, you in the hood, but I'm in the hood, too. But at any rate, yeah. uh, tell me, how was that? And it seemed like y'all was uh, helping the kids or helping the hoodies. Did y'all put hoodies on kids? Yeah, well, basically, I just posted on the internet and shit. Like, I was going to show up to a high school. So whoever tagged the most uh, on the comments and shit, I thought, like, a high school, I was going to pull up. So the day before I did it, you know, uh, Montgomery High. Shout out to Montgomery High and shit in the hood right there. So they they, they won. We pulled up, you know, gave away a bunch of free shit, 
You know what I'm saying? Dope. So, dope, man. Watching shit to the kids and shit like that. You don't see that. You don't see people doing that like that. Yeah. That's very organic. That's very needed, bro. Yeah. I commend you and, and Cam that. for even doing that. I seen you walk in the store. It looked like you go in that store all the time, too. That mm-hmm. little old dude, you say he was new. Yeah. Uh, uh, who was that? And, uh, not, not who that. <laughs> what store was that? Let's give him a shout out. It Texas was, shout out. It was just a Palm City liquor store, man. Prime City liquor store. You in Palm here today. Palm Is City it Palm liquor. City? Yeah, Palm, Palm City. City. Yeah, yeah. Hey, the internet was giving me a lot of shit about that because that dude, that OG dude tried yeah. to tell me some bullshit, but see, what you don't get is that I be going to jail a lot, so when I get out, everything's new to me. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I kind of had to tell him, and at the same time, I'm not going to spaz out on some dude at my homie's liquor store, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Fuck around he tried to act like he owned it or something, or he was the man. You know, but the internet, I seen it. The internet going to say what they want, man. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to say what they They're going to hype that shit up, talk about he, he punked me, but come on. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, I get it. Yeah. War stories. Let's talk about war stories. Yeah, sir. So. What's up with the war stories? that... Is that's that, another that's another single off of uh off of the Strictly for the Streets Volume One. Um like I said, that whole album I punched in. Really? You know, so it was just another 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 uh record. Another single off the album. Who who be producing this music, man, and these beats and sound? My boy Jay Beats. Jay Beats, okay. You know, Shout out to my boy Jay Beats. Yeah. Um Mama Tried? Mama Tried, Mama Tried, which was that one? Uh, that? Yeah, that's me and my, my boy, Little Travieso. Lil, yeah, Little Travieso. Say that again. Little Travieso. Little Travieso, nigga. You on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, he out of Colorado. He a hard artist. He, yo, he, he out of Colorado. Yeah, so, How did y'all link? Uh, shit. So the first time that we linked was just through the internet. So he shot his part uh, in, in Colorado, and I shot my part out here. And then uh, we got another video that we just dropped probably like uh, five days ago called... Uh, uh, yeah, I seen that. Yeah, it, uh, it just dropped like five days ago and shit like that. He came down here, he came down here, and we shot that shit over here in Kelly. Wow, wow. You know so. If you could work with anybody in the industry, who anybody in the industry right now, uh, I'm just focused on myself and shit. You know what I'm saying? But if I could get a big feature and shit, right. I, don't, I don't know. I've been so far uh, all the features I've been wanting to get, I've been getting them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. So um, when when you look at uh, Baby G remix, what was up with that? You just did that. Yeah, I just did that. Shout out to my homie OG Pamps. He shot that shit. He put it on his channel. You know, I'm trying to get his viewers up on his channel. So, but we're gonna re-release that motherfucker again. Ah, uh, yeah, y'all. Yeah. I love the hustle, man. Yeah, that's good stuff. Um, uh, the um song California. What what inspired that? Shit. Uh, me and my boy Yellow Hill. Yellow Hill. Shout out to Yellow. Um, he out of L.A. and shit. Uh, we just we just linked up with my homie Steels. Steels produced it. It was a remake of the Dog Pound and shit. And um, he came down to the hood and we shot the video and shit in Southeast over there with the, the West Coast Crips because he a Crip too, so everything worked out. So Daz and Corrupt influenced you on that one? Facts. So yeah. you how, how, how is Daz and Corrupt when it come down to when you see hear their music? For you to pick that song, you must got a love for what they do. Yeah, they classics for sure. Just how you guys feel about... Uh, like some t- you what's gonna say zero? Who you gonna say Pimp C? Hey, watch out now, Pimp C, nigga, that oh, is right there. Bum B, shout out to Bum B. U- hey, UGK. you know what it is? You like All UGK? That. You ever heard I of those guys? UGK, yeah, I fuck with I fuck with Pimp C mm-hmm. and shit like that. Man, that's dope, you know man. Uh, so, so getting back to like Daz and, <clears throat> and Corrupt and that California sound during that time, that's that's old school now. Mm-hmm. You know, we old cat. That's old school. Snoop Dogg. You know what I'm saying? Snoop Dogg is the one that stayed. Real, real relevant all the way through. But um, how much, uh, what does Snoop Dogg mean when it come down to L.A. and California just on the whole? Give me give me the spiel. Well, shit, I mean, I seen, I seen uh, Snoop go through it, the whole shit, you know. Mm-hmm. His transformations and shit like that. I mean, he's a GOAT. Okay. He's a GOAT for sure. Yeah. Is there anybody else that I'm missing that's out of, outside of Nick Cannon in the rap game that – Maybe uh, you don't, La Grifo, that's what we got there and work with that for San Diego. Uh, out, of, out of SD, out of SD right now, I mean, we got our own. There's a sound coming out of my city right now, and it sounds a lot like the Bay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But um, I just got my own shit, you know. Okay. I got my own shit. I, got, I feel like I got my own sound, and that's I, I'm just sticking to that, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not really switching up, you know, my sound. My sound on my beat selection and shit like that. Like top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Any genre. Man. Number one. Chinx. Chinx, number one. Yeah. Tupac. Number two. Tupac, number two. Tupac and number yeah. three, uh shit, Nip. Nip, man. Nipsey Hustle. Nipsey Hustle. That's it. Chinx. 
Tupac and Nipsey Hussle. What sticks out to you about uh, uh, Chinks? Oh, uh, shit, man. I, the first time I heard him and shit is because he came down to Kelly. He, he shot a video in L.A. with my homie, and um, I latched onto his music and shit. And I, I was watching him go up, and then uh, rest in peace, you know what I'm saying? He got God and shit in his hood. Um, so, okay. I mean, shit, I just, just watching him grow and go up and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I everybody see. that you named came to early demise. Yeah. Early demise. Um, well, uh, Tupac just, hey, man, California. That's why when I seen that song, I said, dang, that's what Pac did. Yeah, yeah man, so. Uh. Yeah, and then Nipsey, man, to get killed in front of his store. I've been by that store uh, when it was open before all that was going on. I would yeah. always go through because my kids grew up in this store. I always have to say that, you know, and growing up in this store and seeing the people and, and understanding that everybody's not evil because people put that persona out there that everybody's evil. Mm -hmm. But there's some good people out here too, guys. And you just, a lot of times people are driven by energy. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I just appreciate you, man, for coming on the show, man. Is there anything else it. you want to get from? No, sir. Man, um, uh, is, how can people get a hold of you, bro? Uh, just Instagram, Little Goody Fossil. Okay. Yeah, L-I-L-G-R-I-F-O-S-O, uh, Little Goody Fossil. Okay, and, and, and where, where, you, where you hanging out in Dallas? Uh, Today or tonight? Or how, you you got a club or something you hit? Uh, last night we was in Oak Oak Cliff. We was in Oak Cliff last mm -hmm. night. Uh, that boy was in Oak Cliff. Yeah, we went to two one six or some shit like that. That's and, what's up. And then tonight, I know I got a video shoot with my homie uh, YTM Little Vent. Okay, he, he that's from, good. He from Dallas. He's from out here. So you working while you're here? Yes, ma'am. And then uh, what are we doing? What else are we do? I got another interview after this. Well, I think Busy TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to him. Busy yeah, TV. I'm gonna pull up on that and uh, see what's up with throw that. Say what he talking about it tomorrow. Another video shoot before I jump on that plane. So I'm gonna do my own video tomorrow. No features, just me. Already give love, give love back to the town. You know, yeah, what I'm yeah. Thank I've been you, telling man. my boys since I got out here. I was like, bro, like it's it's hella different out here. Like mm -hmm. I feel it. Like mm -hmm. it's just different. I, out, out in Cali, like it just feels like a lot of commercial. Like it's a lot of it's just it's, you know what I'm saying. Like it's a lot of too much shit going on over there. A lot of commercial. But you come out here, I feel like you guys have just. It's just something about out here, man, that I'm fucking with Texas. Yeah, like, yeah, heavy yeah, as man. Fuck. I can't wait to go to Houston too. So. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. Who's shooting your videos? Do you uh, know? I know cool. Uh, Cooley or some shit like that shooting tonight and then tomorrow my homie uh, OG Pants is shooting my shit so. okay cool hey yeah. man well hey man I always say we love you brother because that's something sure. we should all be doing bro love. and I appreciate you for coming on Boss Talk 101 man you're yeah, a real yeah. grief for you always appreciate family you, for life Hell now yeah. check it man it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 and we out